20 gauge half hard wire. That is this stuff here. So I'm going to show you what I did. Um, I left about four inches or so of my foot of wire because that's the part that's going to go through the um, jellyfish. Okay, you only need a few inches. I'm going to do a right angle and a basic wire wrap. And you don't want this loop to be super big because you want it to sit inside the jellyfish nicely. Okay, so I have my basic wire wrap loop and I'm going to coil it around one time. Looks like this. Okay, and because I want to make a flower kind of component in the middle, I'm not going to cut right now. I'm going to keep using this wire. And I'm going to just spiral, like make another coil on top of the first coil so that they sit next to each other. And I'm going to flip it up so I can show you in just one second. Just like this. So it's like a little, I'm going to try to bring it up to the camera. So it's like a little spiral here that is sitting right behind my wire wrapped loop. And with the um, wire wrap loop that I made pointing straight up and the um, tail pointing straight down, I'm going to get a long round nose plier like this. And I'm going to start making a flower. Now no, note that I only did this once to make my actual sample um, in this particular style. So forgive me if I make like I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just going to do a loop like this. This is my first petal. And I'm going to turn it, make a second loop, and roll it. Like this. And basically, I'm making a flower or a bunch of loops that go in a circle around the central wire wrap loop. And I'm going to do maybe five or six petals. Let's do five. Can you see I have like a little flower action going on here? <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is right now this tail is sitting on top. I'm going to bend a right angle and push it through the first petal that I made. Okay, but it's a little long right now, so I'm going to cut the wire down just a bit. So I trim down like this, and then I'm going to bend that little tail that's left down at a right angle like this and just poke it into the first petal that I made. So I'm going to flip it upward like this and pull the tail through the first petal and around. So it's kind of hooked shut. All right, and then I'm going to bend it downwards to make more of a cap shape or a cup shape. Okay, so I have my little flower here. If I grab a jellyfish, you can see that the flower shape sits kind of nicely inside the jellyfish cap. And we're just going to put that on the side now and I'm going to demonstrate how to make one of the legs. And the thing is, because the um, component sits far inside the jellyfish cap like this, you have to attach all of the legs before you wire wrap this part shut. Okay, because it's very hard to get in there to attach the legs after the fact. So keep that in mind, okay? So to make the legs, you're going to get your 18 gauge wire, anywhere from about two to four inches of wire, depending on how long you want to make a leg. I'm going to do mm, about four inches of wire, and you can see what my tentacle looks like. And then if you figure you want shorter tentacles, then we're going to do less wire. So this is four inches of 18 gauge wire here, and it's soft wire. And you want to make sure that um, at least one end is flush cut at the moment. And then we're going to turn a spiral. So we're working from the bottom up towards the top of the leg. You grab a round nose plier, grab the very tip of your wire, and roll your wrist forward, just like that. So you have like a little curve. And we're going to roll or turn a spiral here. Okay, so 
normally if I was using soft wire this would be an easy spiral but now it's just like a little jaggedy one and then I'm going to squiggle the leg a little bit and I like to use a wrap and tap plier for that so we're just gonna put it in there and we're just gonna make a little bend like this okay and just go back and forth it's very free form so we have our leg, and yeah, four inches long. Don't go any longer than three if you don't want super long legs. Okay, let's cut off an inch here. Once you get almost to the top, we're gonna turn an eye pin that is perpendicular to the plane of the spiral, meaning I'm not gonna turn it this way in the same plane as the spiral. I'm gonna turn it so that it is perpendicular. So grab the very tip of the wire and you roll forward. And then um, if you want to center your eye pin, you're going to turn it over like that and grab your chain nose plier and make it so that it's kind of centered. Your loop is centered on the wire. More like this. And roll forward. So then you have your eye pin here and it's perpendicular. And then what we're going to do is you can hammer the leg of the jellyfish with a metal chasing hammer. So I like to hammer the spiral portion. Like that. And then I'm going to hammer the curves. I like them to be a little bit wider on the curved portion and then thin out when it gets to the straighter portion. Okay, so we're just gonna do the one at the top. If you happen to have a chasing hammer that has a ball side on it, this one is just a specialty one, but if you have a hammer that has a ball end, you can add extra texture to your wire with the ball end, which I really like because it makes it nice and shiny. And then we have one leg and you just need to make like six more. Once you have those all done, again, you have to have them all done before you put your jellyfish together. You're gonna open the eye pin and then attach it to your component. You can put one right in the middle as well because remember there is a basic wire wrap loop here that started the whole thing. I'm gonna have that one just hang right in the middle. Okay, and then once you have all the legs hanging off of there, then you can go ahead and assemble your jellyfish.